Doubting Thomas, the engineer apostle. Why engineers can relate to this unique apostle. Of Jesus' twelve apostles, Thomas was rather unique. He thought about worst-case scenarios. He was more logical than the others. He had a hard time believing and needed more evidence than the others did. Hence his nickname, Doubting Thomas. Thomas was more like an engineer than were any of the other apostles. Thomas was a lot like me. Let's study some unique features of this fascinating engineer apostle. Worst case scenario, Thomas. Thomas was likely a pessimist. When Lazarus was sick and Jesus was about to go back to Judea, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. But Rabbi, they said, a short while ago, the Jews there tried to stone you, and yet you are going back? Jesus said, let's go to him. Then Thomas, called Didymus, which means twin, by the way, said to the rest of the disciples, let us also go that we may die with him. Thomas considered the worst case scenario, just like an engineer. Logical Thomas. Thomas analyzed things and was not afraid to speak up. Consider this passage when Jesus talked about the way. Jesus said, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? I think Thomas's question made perfect sense. Thomas challenged the logic of Jesus' statement, just like an engineer. Doubting Thomas. Thomas struggled with faith as opposed to fact. Consider the time when Jesus appeared to the rest of his disciples after he was raised from the dead. Now Thomas was not with the disciples when Jesus came, so the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, put my finger where the nails were, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Thomas needed concrete evidence in order to believe, just like an engineer. In summary, the Apostle Thomas thought like an engineer. He pondered worst-case scenarios before taking action. He considered and challenged the logic of other statements, even Jesus' statements. He didn't blindly accept claims. He needed solid proof to believe. I can relate to Thomas. Can you? It's okay to be like Thomas. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.